Good afternoon. My name is George Crump. I am the electrical technology instructor at Kansas City, Kansas Community College. And today I'm going to talk about the wiring up of three-way and four-way switches. The reason that you have three-way and four-way switches in some homes is you have areas of the home where, for example, you go out the front door, turn the lights on or off, and you want to turn the lights off at another exit out of, the, out of your home. You can put a three-way switch at your back door or at your garage door so you can turn the lights on and off from that area. I'm also going to cover, after I talk a little bit about and show you what a three-way switch looks like, I'm going to also show you a four-way switch. And right now, I want to show you the three-way switch. This is a three-way switch, and what designates the three points of connection is over here on the side. You see there's one point of connection right here, there's a second point here, and then when you turn the switch to the other side, there's a third point. So all of your three-way switches will have three connections. And the reason for the three connections is the two at the bottom, which are these two here, are called the travelers. Your hot leg that you're breaking to the light will be connected to the very dark lug here, which is black in color. And then that will allow the current to flow across the travelers to the other three-way. And depending on the circuitry, the lights will either be on or off. And you can turn them on and off simply by flipping the toggle up or down. So there's your three-way. The other three-way is exactly the same, which I have in the other hand, which it has two connections here at the bottom for your travelers. One here, one here. And then you also have your hot leg coming into the, the black colored switch or the black colored uh, screw up here at the top of the switch. So whenever you have the capability to turn the lights off in two different places in your home or on, you must have two three-way switches, which would be these two items right here. All right, the next item that I want to talk about is going to be the four-way switch, which is incorporated in between the two three-ways. And the reason you have the four-way in here is due to the fact that you want to turn the lights on and off at three different locations. So the four-way, as you can see, I have it in between the two three-ways, and I'm not doing a very good job of holding it, but here it is right here. So you've got a three-way here, a four-way in the middle between the other three-way. And so what you would do is, and I want to show you the connections on the four-way because I don't want you to get confused when you see the four-way, but I do want you to recognize a four-way switch when you see one. A four-way switch has connections two on this side and two on this side. There's your four connections. That's the reason that it's called a four-way switch. There are travelers on all of these connections that allow the four-way to switch in between the two three-ways, which will allow you to turn the lights on and off at three different locations. If I can juggle these a little bit and get them lined up. So you have, again, a three-way, a four-way, and another three-way. And you must notice that the four-way has to be between the wiring of the two three-ways and interconnected with the three-ways in order for you to control the light from a third location. So the three-ways, again, allows you to control the lights from two locations, and with the four-way in between the two three-ways, you can control the lights from three locations. So that's my uh, part of the information as it relates to the circuitry. I'm now going to demonstrate to you what it looks like when the lights are operational on a display that I've put together. Okay, now I'm going to demonstrate the actual wiring of the three-way. And what you have here is two three-ways with a light. And I'm going to show you the two locations you can turn the lights on and off for. For example, I can turn the light on here. Then I can go down the hall and turn the light off here. Or if I'm up the stairs or down the stairs, I can turn the lights on when I come down the stairs. And then when I go back up the stairs, I can turn the lights back off. So again, you're seeing two different locations that the lights can be controlled from when you have two three-ways in the circuit for the lighting. Okay, now we have an example of what 
two three-way and a four-way switch that allows you, the customer, to turn your lights on and off at three locations in your home or residence. I can be at the top of the steps in my home and on the second floor and turn the lights on at this location. I can walk down to the bottom of the steps and turn my lights off at the bottom of the steps. And then on my way out the garage, I can have another switch by my garage door and turn the lights back on at that location. So that allows me to turn the lights on and off at three different locations. And they can be three different locations throughout the home just depending on how much wire you're going to use to wire up to two three-ways along with the four-way in between the two three-ways. Okay, on the three-way and four-way switches, one of the tips that I want you to be aware of, when you wire up this circuit sometimes at one location the light will come on and at the, at the other location where you're trying to turn the light off, it will not go off. When you have that type of a situation, is usually an indication that you have crisscrossed your travelers. There are two wires that travel between the two three-ways and the four-ways. If you get those wires crisscrossed in terms of the location on the switch, it will allow the circuit to only be operated from one location instead of the two locations or possibly three. So be aware of that if you've got it wired up and it only comes on and off at one location and you can't turn it off at the other. You need to check your travelers to make sure that your travelers are wired up in the same manner in which you wired them up at the first location.